is to Muslims, what Rome is to Catholics, what Jerusalem is to Jews, what Amritsar is to Sikhs. That is what Shabri Mala is to South Indian Hindus. Every year, mostly within a span of two months, some 30 million pilgrims visit Shabri Mala. They climb five kilometers up a mountain trail and mount 18 golden steps up to the Holy of Holies, the temple of the abode of Lord Ayapa, one of Hinduism's uncountable faces of the one God. However, when that many people flock to a place, there will be garbage. And unless there is an adequate waste management infrastructure in place, there will be pollution. Lots of it. Even 10 years ago, the problem was evident. The chairman of the Assembly Environment Committee said, only God can prevent the breakout of an epidemic during the pilgrim season in Shabrimala. Six years later, the Minister for Local Self-Government reiterated the need for waste management, asserting that the funds required for sanitation and cleaning at Shabrimala would never be a problem. Nor should they be. Shabrimala is among the richest temples in all of India. Its 2011-2012 pilgrimage season income was reported at about 175 crores of rupees, or about $32 million. But even though the Travancore Devaswam board, which receives and manages the finances of the temple, allotted some 30 lakhs of rupees to clean up the river there, the job simply was not being done. As the saying goes, you can't pay anyone to do this kind of work. In November of 2011, the holy precinct was unbearably filthy. In previous centuries, the problem was not so great, for before plastic, almost all garbage was ultimately biodegradable and would, in time, return to nature. But no longer. Shabri Mala was in a shocking state. It was time to undertake the massive, staggering job of deep cleaning. But if money won't buy the labor, then what alternative is there? Really, if you think about it, who would take on such a task? Who would wade out into a river whose bed was coated with excrement and rotting cloth, uh, for pilgrims here doff their pilgrim's garb, leaving it behind and dressing in new garments as a symbol of their new purity. Who would pull up rag after rotting rag and dispose of these so that the river could become pure and purifying? Who would stride out into fields where for years and years plastic water bottles with no better place to be discarded have accumulated and pick up every one of these and bag them for recycling. Who would not just drag and rake debris from a long neglected staircase up from the river, but even scrape the moss from the concrete walls inch by inch? Who would clean crud out of blocked drains and gutters, human and animal waste from along the sides of guest houses, and organic and plastic waste from nearly vertical slopes? And who would sort all this garbage so that only what could not be recycled had to be burned or sent to a landfill? No, you couldn't pay anyone to do it. You couldn't pay anyone to do it. But you could ask Amma for help. When the government of Kerala and the Travancore Devaswam board asked Amma to mobilize her children, her reply was a resounding yes. And when Amma asked her children, devotees, ashramites, students, professors, nurses, doctors, foreigners, they too answered with a resounding yes.
വളരെ പെട്ടെന്ന് തന്നെ ഇതിനകത്തേക്ക് ഇറങ്ങി തിരിച്ചാണ് But if a group of people, if I had some friends with me who would do it, it's done in no time. And the energy there is right from the heart. In November of 2011, while Amma herself was embracing her children in Europe, 5,000 of her children back in India descended upon, or perhaps it would be more accurate to say, ascended up to Shabarimala. From the Pampa River at the base of the hill, right up to the top of the mountain, they swarmed like locusts, only not as a curse, but as a blessing. It was like standing on a mountain of garbage. You didn't know whether, how many meters down it would continue either. And okay, this is the area you are supposed to clean. And you look over there and everybody stood kind of quiet and looking down on this tremendous amount of garbage. And then we just decided, okay, <clears throat> now we have to start. So you just bend down and you take a piece of plastic and you put it somewhere. <laughs> And when the workers finished, what had once looked like this ended up looking like this. And what started out this way ended up this way. What once was suitable for wild boars was now suitable for pilgrims. And what had been a forest blighted with garbage became once again a sacred grove. The volunteers kept on this promise, ending up with more than 50,000 bags of garbage sorted into recyclable and not to be hauled away. What remained was acres of beautifully cleaned open spaces, pathways, and jungle. All this in three days, and for free. In March 2012, the Kerala High Court set a deadline. The Pampa River must be clean before the opening of the pilgrimage season. This order came down 10 days before the season. Once again, Amma was asked, and once again, she sent her children. <laughs> And once again, Amma's children delivered on her promise. 
അപ്പൊ ഇന്നലെ രാവിലെയാണ് ആ സമയത്ത് അമ്മ പറഞ്ഞതായിട്ട് ചങ്ങനാശ്ശേരി ആ സമയത്തിലെ നിഷ്ഠാജി അമ്മ പറയുന്നത് ഇങ്ങനെ സേവനത്തിന് പോകണം ശബരിമലയിൽ സേവനം ഉണ്ടെന്ന് പറയുന്നത് നമ്മളിവിടെ സേവനം ചെയ്യുന്ന പമ്പ നദി ഏറ്റവും മലിനമായിട്ട് അവിടെ നോക്കിയാൽ കാണാം അവിടെ എല്ലാം ഈ തുണികളും അതും ഇതുമെല്ലാം കണ്ടമാനം നിറഞ്ഞിട്ട് ഒരുമാതിരി സ്മെല്ലും എല്ലാം കൂടെ ഒരു രക്ഷയില്ല അപ്പം അമ്മയുടെ മക്കൾ അതെല്ലാം വളരെ സന്തോഷത്തോടു കൂടി ആ കൈകൊണ്ടും കാലുകൊണ്ടൊക്കെ വാരി വാരി അതെല്ലാം സ്വന്തം നമ്മുടെ എന്തോ ഒരു നമ്മുടെ സ്വന്തം പോലെ തന്നെ മാലിന്യം എന്നുള്ള ഒരു ഇതൊന്നും ഇല്ലാതെ തന്നെ അത് വാരി കരക്കോട്ട് സഞ്ചിക്കാത്തതെല്ലാം നിറച്ച് 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 വെക്കുകയും The volunteers were undaunted. They tackled not only the cesspool that the sacred Pampa River had become, but also the river banks and the access steps and the forested area in this lower section of Shabrimala. In just two days and nights, the volunteers managed to tackle these shocking and until now ignored health hazards. They began by clearing and collecting, cleaning and carrying away until they could look about and see a fresh, clean world and a river that could, once again, inspire pilgrims. പിന്നെ മുഴുവൻ അരിക്ക് വെച്ചാൽ മുഴുവൻ നമുക്ക് ഇറങ്ങാൻ പറ്റാത്ത ഒരു അവസ്ഥയായിരുന്നു ഇപ്പം ഇത് പഴയതുപോലെ നല്ലൊരു പിന്നെ നമ്മളെ ഒരു പുണ്യ നദിയല്ലേ അപ്പം അതാക്കാൻ കഴിഞ്ഞു അത് ശരിക്കും മനസ്സ് ഭയങ്കര ആനന്ദത്തിലാണ് Will Shabarimala be just as dirty next year? Will Amma's children have to be invited back again and again, a sort of on-demand maid service? The whole pilgrimage was covered and protected and held in Amma's grace. Amma's grace covered all of us. But the government shouldn't misunderstand that Amma's Grace is a substitute for their hard work and responsibility and management of keeping that holy place clean. Money may not have been able to buy the kind of labor involved in this first deep cleaning, but now the task is different. It is maintenance. With just a thimble full of the temple's steadily increasing income, waste receptacles, even color-coded for sorting, can be made available and maintained. Just a few weeks after the big November cleanup in 2011, the Forest Service raised their buyback price for certain plastic water bottles, from one to two rupees each, about five cents. Things are moving in the right direction. Yeah, you come back next year and uh, there's a chance things might have changed, things might not have changed, I really don't know. But I think the real change is what happens inside me, you know. I changed and hopefully the 5,000 others who went with me for the cleanup also had a similar change inside themselves. And hopefully this, this cleanup inside will spread and things will change for the good. Just imagine the pilgrim who has, for 41 days, been calling other beings and all parts of nature Swami in an effort to see the divinity in all. Imagine this pilgrim who climbed the mountain, carrying on his head, as is the custom, his irumuri, a pack of gifts to the deity. Imagine this pilgrim descending after his or her darshan at the top, carrying on his head, a different kind of Irumuri, a pack of all his own empty water bottles and biscuit wrappers and medicine bottles and maybe even other glass and plastic he has seen lying around. A new custom, but like the old one, a gift to the divinity and all, and a gift to Mother Nature and all her children. 
And Shabrimala? It can be kept as clean as a devotee's heart.